Yo, Matthew Shablovitz for NYC Metal Scene. I'm here with Slaughter the Prophets. What's going on, guys? Hey, they just played a show tonight over at the Unknown Biker Club here on 245 Russell Street, I think it's in Greenpoint. So what's going on, guys? So from 2005 to 2012, you guys were called Respawn the Ancients. What spurred the name change? Well, we had members that left the band, and we felt it was right just to move on, just to change the name, so. I could, I could certainly relate to that. I hear you with that. <laughs> and then, how did you arrive at the name Slord of the Prophets? Because, uh, you know, it's PDS trying to find a new name. Oh, now yeah, yeah. Well, all the one word names are taken. Trust right. me, if we had any pick, it would not have been. Dude, every star constellation, every demon is taken. All the fucking old men in the scene. Oh, yeah. right, you know, any sort of Roman conqueror or something, or Greek mythology, it's gone, taken. So, actually, Slaughter the Prophets, though, it's, uh, is that, does that have to, does that refer to anything about Christianity? Well, I mean, or is it just... It's not just about Christianity, it's about religion superstition general. and religion. And right, general. yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, I mean, really, the way we came to that name was it was originally a song title for yeah, the Right, right. It was actually Steve Jones. Right. 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 So now we should just make that our name. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely is. In reality, yeah. we don't really give a shit about a name anyway. It's important to use that. Yeah. And so you guys have been around the scene for a while. So I've been asking a lot of this question to a lot of the guys from different metal bands around New York City, and even I was talking with Ozzy before. How do you guys feel that the scene has been evolving? I feel it's been evolving for the better since the uh, early 2000s to now. You see like clubs popping open all over, us, all over the place. Yeah, you start to see more venues open up, uh, more stable venues. Also, I mean, I've noticed in the last two or three years, death metal has been coming back. Right, yeah. yeah. Metal in general has been growing. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, I brought this up with a couple different people. It's weird because you have like a second and third generation now coming into this. And and you also have like older bands getting back together. And I think that might be something to do with like, yeah, dehumanize. Yeah, exactly, dehumanize. I interviewed them a little while ago. You know, and internal bleeding, I saw them last week. And I think it, pyrexia, absolutely. And I think that might have something to do with maybe, you know, they might have kids or something, and like, hey, I'm 40 now, I'm fucked, but I can still fucking jam and play. Now the kid can walk, he's like, all right, good. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and you know, sometimes there's yeah. other things that happen in your life. And, yeah, you quit, you quit the band life, you go, back, you go to family it's life, and then you're like, oh, I'm bored of this shit. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely with like those different tiers of metal bands, you have like, you know, obviously suffocation, immolation. Right, you have yeah. Malignancy, dehumanize. Right, yeah. Of, and then you have like, we're pretty much on that next lower yeah. tier with torturous inceptions, good friends of ours. And the right. Like, they, carcinogen. Absolutely. And then, I mean, it's, it's, but it's, it's great that there's bands coming around, you know, getting back together, supporting the scene, and like clubs popping open. I'm really impressed with the club tonight that was played. Yeah, the yeah. stage looked great. You guys sounded really good. I have some good footage of them playing. So what's next for you guys? You guys were mentioning something on stage about uh, some recordings coming up. Yeah, we're actually we're self-recording our, our first album. Right, right. First four. Yeah, first four. First yeah, four we have a demo out already, a lot of people already. Right, I listened, it was great. You're the first song you played tonight was the first solo of that demo. Yeah, we were like, starting the set like that. But we have written a lot of new material, but obviously we want to get all this material out there. Yeah, first. it's tough, right? I mean, how often do you guys practice? <laughs> It's, it's a big miss. No, I mean, we usually practice yourself. about once a week, but you know, we, string days, obviously. I don't know if it's something similar like us, but we make sure to take the time to practice at home so we come to practice prepared. Is yeah. it something like yeah, yeah. that for you guys? That's exactly what it is. So you we know, all do, practice at home. Right. And then when we come to the studio, we all know exactly what we're doing. We're all on the same page. Right, so you're not fucking around, you know? I, know? I mean, you guys might be a little bit younger than me, but you're certainly not fucking kids. You, you, you're not coming to a studio, yeah, at me. <laughs> except for that guy over there. You know, whatever. You don't want to waste time in the studio. Do you guys have your, maybe your own studio, or, or yeah, yeah, we have our own studio. So that's cool. So you don't have to deal with the fucking Ah, some of the recording, some of the spaces in Manhattan. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's not about the right members too. Yeah. That's where you're going wrong. It's Manhattan. No, 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 no. I don't. We we practice up at our uh, drummer studio. We'll be recording there as Man. well. So. Man. Yes, yes, right, Matt Slagle, yes, absolutely. Slag's recording, and uh, so that's beneficial to have a, so a, a, you know, your drummer owning a studio. So. Every, every drummer is a, also records the band. Like, are drummer. you recording the band too? <laughs> Do you have your own studio, or are you just bring the equipment to your... Uh, I used to have a studio, and I kept a lot of my old gear. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I, you know, I mean, basement recorders, you got the right equipment with this kind of music, and I mean, it's sound, you know, you can make it sound really good. Tonight, you really had a good drum sound up there. 
I'm not sure if you use triggers or not, it doesn't matter. The bass drum sounded really good. It had a real full sound. You really heard all the instruments. I was trying to get you on camera. You kept, you kept staying behind the I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> But he's on there. But the drums yeah, sounded great. really good. And I mean, I even liked the guitar tone even better than on the, the two song EP. Like, you guys really had a fucking good song. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just the fact that we had a really good beat this time around. Right. It was also the money that demo was kind of when we all first got the lineup together. Like, it was definitely expected much better things. On yeah, the when album. we recorded right. it, I, I barely even knew the song. We sat down. Riff by riff, play to go. Alright, uh, tower. Uh, Alright, next riff. How about this one? Holy so shit. So it was just a piece by piece thing. And actually, uh, you would never know that though by listening well, to it. Good to know. We're well, recording the two, two songs in a demo on the full length, so they're right. So be recording. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely the way to go. So, any, what else we got coming up in the works? Uh, if you want to tell anyone? Uh, well, we have the full length. Um, Indiscriminate desecration is the title. Okay. Um, it's gonna have um, eight tracks plus uh, each new track, so nine, nine all together. Awesome. Um, we also have a show coming up. I don't know when this is gonna be. Today is June 15th, 2013, so it's always funny when someone watches this interview maybe like six months from now. Yeah, but uh, this will be up in about two or three days. <laughs> All right. so. Yes, yeah, so we have the show coming up on July 12th. That's with um, Insidious Decrepacy. Um, that's with you know, you know, Sean Whitaker. Right, 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 right. used to be Viral Load as well. And that's at the place. That's at the place. Actually, it's, it's literally right around the walking corner. distance from here. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Nothing to take away from the place, but this stage blows away yeah. that place so much better. I mean, really, yeah. Oh my god. It's yeah. always, it sounded pretty solid. Yeah. yeah. We, we also got Wake Nick Daver on that, Death Sick, my friends, and the Crop Tip Wars we played tonight. Wake, I and I, I, I believe I already have that up on NYC Metal Scene. If I don't, I will I can check my phone right now. I'll do it. I, I try to get around to it, you know. What are you going to do? So, hey, man, Slaughter the Prophets, be on the lookout for their new full length. They're playing. July 12th at the Place Bar Lounge right around the corner here in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I'm Matthew Schlaber to NYC Metal Scene. Yeah! Fuck Next yeah, time. man. Brexit is going on. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Nice. Cool. Oh, thanks. Oh, fucking night, man. I'm glad you uh, put